Fedor, the son of Ivan the Terrible, the very self-same picture was renaissanced at least twice to become lighter and lighter. When the so-called white man took over Egypt and he saw all the black hermetic statues and icons in Egypt, what did the so-called white man start doing? The same thing he did throughout Europe. He started lightening everything up. Another tactic that he used to try to hide the... Uh, the features, I should say, of the statues and so forth was to blow the noses off. Here's the statue of the Sphinx. Everybody's familiar with the Sphinx. And everybody knows that the Sphinx is what? Missing a nose. Here's a statue of Nefertiti. What do you see about her? She's missing a nose. Here's a statue of another Egyptian pharaoh. And what do you see about him? Missing a nose. Here's a statue of yet another Egyptian pharaoh. What do you see about him? He's missing a nose. Does everybody see that? Here's another one. Another Egyptian. Missing a nose. But someone might say, well, that's just Egypt. Okay, let's talk about the Phoenician Empire. The Phoenician Empire was not in Egypt. 
The Phoenician Empire was in North Africa, but not Egypt. Here's a statue from the Phoenician Empire. And what do you notice about the statue? It's missing a nose. Everywhere the so-called white man went, that he saw this black statues and art or whatever, he destroyed it. Which brings me to my point. Septimius Severus. There are statues of Septimius Severus all throughout Rome. Here's a statue of Septimius Severus. What do you notice? The same thing you noticed in all the pictures before. It's missing a nose. But someone might say, well, you know, the nose could have fell off when they excavated it and they were putting it into the museum and maybe accidentally the nose fell off, whatever. Okay, I'll buy that. But here's another statue of Septimius Severus. What do you notice about this one? Missing a nose. Now we have a problem. One statue missing a nose could have been an accident. Two statues missing a nose of the same guy? We got a problem. But here's a third statue of Septimius Severus. And what do you notice about this one? Missing a nose. So you mean to tell me every single statue that they found of Severus Septimius from ancient times all coincidentally are missing noses? Really? I think not. The reason why these are missing noses is the same reason why the statue from Phoenician and also the statues of the Egyptians are missing noses because everywhere the so-called white man went that he saw black statues and black icons, whether they be of the Hermetic people, whether they be of the Shemetic people, whether they be of the Japhetic people, everywhere he went that he saw this dark art, he destroyed it. One historical term for that is called iconoclasm. There's a term for that where you go around destroying black art. Now what you're looking at on your screen is another statue of Septimius Severus. Now this particular statue, I was reading about it online, and this statue was erected in the Renaissance, during the Renaissance, excuse me. And this particular statue of Septimius still has his nose. So when you go on Google Images and you Google statues for Septimius Severus, you'll notice that some have noses, some don't. What you have to understand is that during the Renaissance, there were pictures painted of Septimius Severus and there were statues that were uh, carved out by different um, artists during the Renaissance as well, depicting Septimius Severus. And these particular statues and pictures have a more European look. So that's why they remain intact. But the statues that had a more, I should say, black look, if, if for lack of a better term, or more Negroid look, Negroid features, they're all missing noses. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a coincidence. If that was a court, if this was a court case, and you string together all this so-called circumstantial evidence, the so-called white man would be found guilty.